Hi, I'm Brian Stark, and I'm going to show you how to add materials. To do this, click the Inputs and Materials button. Here we have a series of tabs up to the top. We'll choose Chemicals first and hit the Add Chemical button. There are two ways to add a material. The first way is to manually type in the material name and the properties below. The other option is to hit the Search button. The Search button will save you a lot of time. And what I'm going to do here is show you an example while I type in Roundup. And there's this database that it will search and find all those items that um, have Roundup in their name. And there's quite a few here to pick from. And if you type in a name and the material's not there, you can request it to be added down below. But in my example here, I want to add Roundup Ultramax. So I'll go ahead and click on this. And as you can see, it filled in a lot of details for me. But there will be some other information that you'll have to fill in, such as the active ingredient, purchase units, unit cost, applied units, and my default rate. So I'll shoot for two and a half quarts per acre. And then I'll hit the save button. Now we can see Roundup Ultramax has now been added to our list. Now if we need to make changes to it, just hit the edit button. Now we'll add a seed variety. Go to the top and hit the Seeds tab and hit the Add Seed button. In my example, I'll type in the seed variety. You must choose a crop name. In my drop down, I have corn. And if your crop is not there, just hit the Add Crops button. How we purchase that? We'll choose Bags, my cost per bag, and how it's applied to my field by the seeds. And I'll enter in my, my number here of number of seeds per bag and my rate per acre. We'll hit the save button. That'll take us back to our inputs and materials screen. And now you can see the seed variety. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video today. Please subscribe to our channel to keep updated with future videos.